in the next question question number 24 any doubt sir a option uh, that, uh, select the correct combination which hydrogen gas is released as one of the product in case of a sodium metal uh, or the potassium metal it reacts very readily okay but in a uh, case of uh, this lithium metal the reaction actually do not take place that uh, acetylate do not form it is like a uh, sodium metal can react but lithium cannot form li2c2 oh yes sir Twenty third. Twenty third. Okay. In case of twenty uh, three, an alkaline NaOH solution of a compound produces a yellow colored solution on addition of NaBO three. Right. So the reaction of NaBO three in the presence of alkaline NaOH, we have to check that which which compound will be formed. Okay. So we are having the options like MnOH, PbOH, CrOH, and FeOH. Okay. So uh, in this situation, uh, what uh, compounds we can have? Like uh, we uh, should have a yellow colored solution. So in presence of NaBO3 and NaOH, the compound which will uh, convert into its a uh, green. Uh, Sorry, uh, yellow colored compound will be C, uh, chromium hydroxide. The reason being, it will be converting into Na to CrO4. Okay, uh, it will get uh, oxidized in presence of this uh, reagent NaBO3 and Na. This is the specific reaction. It will convert into Na to CrO4, which will give yellow color. Okay, so uh, what is the doubt in this situation? Are you thinking of the PbCrO4 or, or any other compound like? Which will give yellow colored solution. Okay, see uh, that uh, chromium compound uh, will convert into Na2Cr4. That is the case. That is the only case which can give yellow color. No other option are actually matching in this situation. Okay. Next question number thirty. Any doubt? Yes, sir. Okay, total number of reagents uh, given below reacted with Ki uh, to produce I two. So we uh, basically need a oxidizing agent in this situation. So what are the cases in your opinion? First, I want to know that. What are your answers? Sir, I thought except last one, I, everyone will give. Okay, except the last, everyone will give this. Okay, uh, see, concentrated H3PO4 is a non-oxidizing acid, so it will not oxidize Ki into I2. Okay, the rest are okay. So NaNO2 is also oxidizing, and no, not that much oxidizing. Hg plus two can't oxidize I two. No? Hg I two will be formed. It will not convert uh, further into I two. Sir, our answer is seven. No, sir. Uh, repeat, please repeat. Acidified. Answer is seven. Uh, no, sir. Answer is seven. Yes. Cu SO four. The uh, uh, concentrated H two SO four. Kimno four K two Cr two seven. Cl2 water, acidified bleaching powder, and PbNO3. Uh, CuSO4, H2SO4 is fine. Uh, KMnO4, K2Cr27 is fine. Uh, C, uh, PbNO3 will not form. See, the answer uh, PbI2 will be formed only, not uh, I2. Okay. So here, HgI2 will form. It will not further convert into I2. And uh, Pb I two will form. It will not convert into I two. So this is the uh, problem. Like uh, Na NO two and HCl. See, uh, sir, CuSO four. Do it you or not, sir? I mean, CuSO four uh, be the answer or not? Hg uh, Hg NO three or twice. We are asking. CuSO four, sir. CuSO four. CuSO four will form CuI two first of all. And it will convert into Cu two I two and I two. 
I think okay, uh, Na and Na and NO two H C L can uh, oxidize it because you know that is having a strong tendency for the conversion. So we just require oxidizing agents. Okay, so uh, basically here the oxidizing agents are the hardcore oxidizing agents which are generally oxidizing are uh, concentrated H two S O four, KMnO four, K two C R two C L. these and nano2 actually are also the oxidizing agent so these will be the answers concentrated h3po4 is not uh, cuso4 is by that factor that ui2 will form and it will convert into cu2 i2 and i2 okay and these will not be the answers so the total answers are cuso4 but concentrated h2so4 kmno4 k2cr27 ye four ho gaye And three more are Cl two water, acidified bleaching powder, and then these are the final answers. Sir, how will last one give sir? Okay, fine. Uh, it is also a mild oxidizing agent. So because the I minus conversion into I two has the strongest tendency to get reduced uh, to get oxidized I minus into I two, we have I minus as a strong reducing agent. So basically, the purpose of the question is to Get familiar with the reagent, whether it is oxidizing in nature or not. So CuSO4 can create problem because that is a other reaction that iodide is unstable of copper. But other in other cases, we have to just see what are the oxidizing agents and whether the iodide of the compound is unstable or not. Like HgI2 will not convert into I2 further. PbI2 will not convert into I2 further. so basically these three cases are because uh, of their iodides we are explaining them and in rest of the cases we are just checking which is oxidizing in nature or not so concentrated h3po4 is non oxidizing and others are oxidizing and no2hcl is also oxidizing lesser than nitrate but it is oxidizing it is there any other question yes uh, question number 35 any doubt Okay, let us come to this second paper. Yes, this is a chemistry section. Uh, question number twenty. Uh, see, uh, question number twenty. First of all, the values are uh, like X is. Uh, please cross. Thirty six. Thirty six is. Oh, uh, you are asking about question thirty six. The value of X is six. X is six. Uh, y is thirty. Uh, And in this situation, Z is thirty-six. Okay, these are the values of X, Y, and Z. X is one. Any is... doubt in these values? How is X six? X is one. Yes, X is one. Yes, X is one. Sorry, X is one. Uh, y is thirty. Z is thirty-six. This is these are the values. Any doubt? Sir, X is one. Can I explain, sir? In X, uh, Fe plus two is there. Uh, cyanide we are having minus one charges uh, five minus one and total we are having four minus here plus two is given so O two shall be minus one in this state then it will be uh, getting justified in the complex that Fe is plus two and we are having whole minus four so in this situation uh, Fe plus two is three uh, six. And presence of a uh, strong field ligands, all three d six will be are paired. All three d six electrons are paired. But in case of O two minus, one electron will be unpaired in its antibonding molecular orbit. Okay, so value of X is coming one because of O two minus. Question number twenty two. Any doubt? Second answer. K I equals. K I uh, F E I two will simply form in this situation, and again F E I three will be formed, uh, which uh, which can further convert into F E I two and I two. Okay, so the violet color formation of I two will distinguish. Will differentiate. Sir, will yes, the brown sir. solution not violet color? Because of yes, K, we'll get brown solution not violet color because of K I three. Finally, it will form violet color uh, or uh, the brown brown color of Ki3. Yes. Uh, further, it will react with I minus, can give uh, 
brown color of FeI3. Yes, initially it can form uh, brown color of FeI3. Upon heating, it can give FeI2 plus half egg. Initially, FeI3 will be formed. This is brown, and then upon heating, we can. Change. Sir, iodine formed in reactions is formed in vapor state or solid state? Uh, in aqueous state only. Any doubt in question 26? Option D. Option D. N2, 2 plus, N2 plus, and N2 would show increased magnetic moment compared to SP mixing. Okay, so we have to check when we are having the SP mixing and then N2 plus and these species would show increased magnetic moment. Okay, so basically in this question, uh, it is given that if SP mixing is not operative, then we have to check what is the configuration and then uh, if there were also SP mixing, both we are comparing in case of section D. So let us compare this. In situation, if SP mixing is there and if no SP mixing is there, what energy changes will be there? Uh, like uh, sigma 1s, 1s star, 2s, 2s star I am ignoring and starting with SP mixing like pi. 2px, 2py, sigma 2pz, pi star, pi star, and sigma star. And the change, if we are expecting no SP mixing, will be sigma 2pz at the lower, pi 2px, pi 2py higher, pi star, and sigma star. Okay. So in case of uh, nitrogen, we'll be having eight electrons over here, 14, 14 electrons here. So in case of SP mixing, it will be like, we have to fill electrons here, six electrons more. And in this situation also, we will be having six electrons. So there will be the difference only in the cases of homos. Uh, if SP mixing is there, the homo of N2 will be sigma 2pz. In case if no SP mixing in there, uh, its homo will be pi. Okay, now the question is that N2 plus N2 plus uh, 2 and N2 would show increased magnetic movement. So come to this section. This is N2. We have to think about N2 plus and N2. 2 plus, it will be having increased number of uh, uh, magnetic moment. Means when one electron is removed, one electron will remain unpaired. And after in this situation, we can say that zero electrons are unpaired. In this, one electron will be unpaired. And uh, in this, two electrons will be unpaired. In the same situation here also, N2 will be having zero unpaired electrons n2 plus will be having one unpaired electron and n2 plus 2 will be having two unpaired electrons so there is a similarity not a difference is there in the case of magnetic moment uh, any other doubt in this part sir n2 2? plus 2 will be zero no, n2 plus will be zero uh, magnetic moment uh, zero unpaired electron why uh, the homo portion is this and in the SP mixing, is this? N2 plus 2. Uh, yes, N2 plus 2 here. Uh, here it will be 0. Yes. Here it will be 0. Okay. Now the statement we have uh, we are comparing. Let us check. That if N2 plus, uh, plus 2 would show increased magnetic moment. So we, we are taking as the uh, statement like N2 2 plus N2 plus and N2 would show increased magnetic moment compared to SP mixing. Okay, the statement is like we have to take this sequence also N2 2 plus N2 plus and N2. 
will show increase magnetic moment compared to s2 mixing <clears throat> so it will be having two unpaired one and zero if no s2 mixing and compared to s2 mixing uh, they are having answer zero one and zero so they are actually uh, not increasing magnetic moment they are in the decreasing order of the magnetic moment <clears throat> So we have to actually relate it to the statement which has been asked. Okay. Sir, 30 B option. Question number 30. B option, sir. A option. B, B. B. Fe2O3 is used to oxidize impurities in the reverberatory furnace. See, uh, the Fe2O3 and the uh, impurities will be like Mn, Si, Phosphorus, Sulfur. These will be the impurities. So uh, they are more uh, oxygen uh, attracting species than iron. So Fe2O3 can use its uh, reaction with them and provide oxygen to them to form their oxides like MnO, SiO2, P2O5 uh, and SO2. Okay, so these are the main impurities, and these impurities can be oxidized in the presence of Fe2O3. Okay, students. So here we can end up the discussion of the paper. <clears throat>